If you are a woman traveling alone in war tour country, what challenges, difficulties or inconveniences you can face with? I will try to cover it in this video, stay tuned! Hi guys, so my journey starts right from here. I'm going to catch train and if you can, please pray because I'm traveling solo. I'm girl, I'm in Ukraine and I have took tickets to the sleeper train with the neighbors. First, take it easy. No heavy luggage as you probably need to look after your phone and wallet. Oh yeah, when you're traveling alone, no one carries your stuff, no one helping you and it's time to think about flexibility of your luggage. That's why I prefer hand-free. Do not forget that trains in Ukraine has no restaurant carriage, so you need to buy food in advance. And try to avoid heavy food, because you never know what toilet condition will you have. The best way to get to railway station in Lviv is tram. It will not cost you much and give you more comfort, not comparable with usual bus. It has Wi-Fi and possibility to pay by card. By the way, guys, this is original sound in this train. It's soft, it's quiet, comfortable, and this tram also has an AC and even additional camera for safety meanwhile we go into railway station to meet our friend Mark needs to buy ticket to Odessa and needs interpreter so we are here to catch my train to Dnipro uh, Mark will take his tickets in the international office to Odessa and I will go solo and Mark will go solo but he says the gentleman as UK gentleman is carrying my stuff look guys <laughs> I'm so happy to have him with me Always buy tickets in advance, not in the last moment, because you can find huge line to the cashier office. Okay, guys, uh, if the hell has the most worst place, it consists strictly from the lines. Because I have standing in the toilet in the woman's restroom and waiting for the huge line, and now we are standing to the cashier line. This is insane. And the reason of my worrying is that train departs in 20 minutes and we still have not bought tickets for Mark. I will help you not to be in our situation. The link to Ukrainian Railways online booking for tickets will be in description to this video. Are you happy? I am very happy. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> It's nice to see you. Good to see you too, my friend. Have a safe and enjoyable trip, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Slava Ukraine. Slava. After saying goodbye, I was left alone. Yes, guys, unfortunately, single woman that travels solo in overnight train in Ukraine is not the so safest option. And my mom always asking me if I'm traveling one compartment with men because she's worried. And this was exact my situation. My neighbor was man. I do not want to accuse any man and tell that every man is dangerous. No, but in Ukraine it was the cases of sexual harassment, assault and even attempt of rape in overnight trains. But guys, Ukrainian railway company has an improvement on the way. And you know guys, finally, finally Ukrzelisnita launched compartment only for women starting from 30th of June. I'm already late with the women compartment, but my mom, while she's traveling to Lviv in July, she can buy these tickets and travel safely. So catching the daylight, I spent most of the time out of compartment and exploring the train. This poster actually doing a great huge thing. It's a set. Tell me honestly, how do you feel? It? And it is mental health awareness. Now, especially after a full-scale invasion, Ukrainian government takes care about mental health and they have my huge respect. 
because you know that mental health in Ukraine was stigmatized for many years. So you can scan QR code and find help or find out how you can help to other people. I'm all alone in my cabin drinking this tea, Carpathian tea by the way, from the canonical glass for trains. Since the beginning of pandemic, they have replaced all these glasses with the plastic ones. Now they returned it and I'm happy. So let me show you around. We have a sea here and shelf where we can put the luggage developed so high to discriminate short people. Really, guys, I put my laptop here and can ah. reach it. It's not for short people. Joy was right. Obviously not for short people. My husband bought me first class compartment ticket to avoid as many strangers as possible. So it can be an option if you're traveling alone. But it's like quite costly thing, especially if you break railway property. But first class spoil you with charging station that works inside the compartment, tea include in the ticket and large space cabin compared to second class. But not only sexual harassment, for both genders can be an issue. Robbery could be another danger, and railways trying to avoid it by establishing additional cameras into the wagons. This is supposed to be an emergency exit, but I really, really don't know how it works. We need to pull this stuff, but in the case of emergency, guys, I'm not capable to figure out even, so I think they should make it more obvious. We also have fire extinguisher and hand sanitizer if in case you still remember about COVID. And I want to express sincere gratitude to everyone who support me on PayPal because your donation gave me a flexibility to support my friend in army and they have already shared additional videos how they are using these tools. And in case you consider to support me, I will leave PayPal into description to this video. Big surprise for me was hot water in the toilet. From my experience, second class does not have it. So it's time to eat my breakfast that I have bought in the supermarket. God kept me safe and sound and night was fine and I arrived safely. And another new challenge for me is to keep myself safe in Dnipro region when the missile attacks are very frequent here. But no matter what, I'm glad to be here, see my grandma, mom and my cat 